The abalone seen in the water is a little different from the image we know. Can you see the eyes of abalone? Vicious eyes. Today, we will dissect the abalone. Abalone is a creature belonging to mollusca. Most mollusks have muscular foot. So where is the foot of abalone? Abalone is a gastropoda whose foot is located in the lower part of the guts. So, this part widely located at the lower part of the body of the abalone is the foot. The main part we eat is the foot of abalone. Abalone is mistaken for bivalves like clams because of its flat shell, but it is not a bivalve. Bivalves have two shells. Abalone has only one shell. In fact, abalone are creatures much more like snails than bivalves. It is a type of sea snail. Abalone belongs to gastropoda along with snails, conch, and trumpet shell. Most gastropods are characterized by spirally coiled shells. If you look closely, you can see the shell of the abalone is also spirally wound. In addition, there are many snail-like features on the body of abalone. First, let's take a look at the live abalone. Abalone is a creature that moves pretty dynamically. If you turn the abalone inside out, you can see it flip itself over. And the abalone moves by moving the muscular foot on the stomach like a wave. The feet of the abalone have a very strong adhesion. It is difficult to remove it from the floor without tools. And right here, see the pair of tentacles coming out? Here is the head of the abalone. If you look at the appearance of the abalone from the side, you can see a pair of antennae and a pair of eyes. If you enlarge the eyes of the abalone, the eyes look like this. And the mouth is located below the eyes and antennae. Abalone lives by eating algae. Now let's separate the shell from the body to see the inside of the abalone shell. Abalone's shell and body are attached by a muscle called the shell muscle. So, if you cut the shell muscle, you can separate the body from the shell. A spoon is a very good tool for cutting this. If you cut the shell muscle like this with a spoon, the shell is separated. This part is the shell muscle of the abalone. And here is the head of the abalone. A pair of gills are located next to the head. And unexpectedly, the anus is located in the inner part under the gills. If you press the upper part of the anus, you can see poop coming out. The digestive tract of abalone runs from the head to the gills. So, the anus is located on the side of the head. This ambiguous location of the anus can be understood by observing the shell of the abalone. You can see that there are several small holes in the shell. The holes create water streams that allow water to flow in and out of the shell. Therefore, abalone uses the water of the shell to breathe through gills and makes excretion. Sperm or eggs come out through this hole too. Because the abalone has a hole in the side of the head that connects to the outside of the shell, gills and anus are located on the sides of the head. And if you split the head of the abalone here, you can take out a very peculiar looking organ. This elongated organ is often mistaken for the esophagus. However, it is an organ called the radula. The radula is a feeding organ used by mollusks to eat food. Their teeth are serrated like this and are used for gnawing or cutting food. Abalone lives by eating algae using its radula. And in the front part of the radula, there is a peculiar area called the odontophore. The odontophore controls the movement of the radula. And the horn-like organ at the bottom is the gonads of the abalone. If it is green, it's female. Males are in beige color. The gonads of abalone surround the liver, so the liver is located inside the gonads. Lastly, the transparent part here is the heart of the abalone. The heart contracts and relaxes like this. The abalone anatomy ends here. After removing the guts of the abalone and chop it until it does not get too tough, then boil. 
and slice it thinly. I give Sebastian's favorite chicken breast first. And then I try to give him an abalone. <sighs> Sebastian doesn't seem to like abalone. If you enjoyed watching it, please subscribe.